Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm in Pavilion Damansara Heights. It's one of the new mall from Pavilion Group. And one of the main reasons for me to come and visit this place is I saw their ratings on Google, which is quite low. And it's really surprising for me because I know Pavilion, they are famous for their luxury, their high standards, their premium stuff. So I was like, I'll go and check out what's all that about. And also some of the viewers, they commented on my other videos. So they wanted me to come and visit this mall. So here I am. And now let's go and discover this mall together. This mall is only five minutes from this train station. Let me show you how to get there. First, you need to take this elevator to ground floor and you will see this sign. Just keep following the direction signs and you will get to the car parking. In this car parking, they have this elevator. Take the elevator to the second floor and you will be inside the pavilion, the Mansara Heights Mall. So all these shops are either closed or like they are finished with the Chinese New Year celebration. And this is the tiger dance costumes. This looks too real. Today is Sunday and it's a public holiday as well. So this mall is quite empty according to that because any mall I go, especially the other two pavilions, they would be like super packed. So not sure what's the reason, but let's go and check it out. It's actually a really huge teddy bear to give you an idea how big it is like this is me and that's how big it is so that's how it's gonna look when this mall and the resident is completed wow very modern for me every mall have a certain vibe like KLCC mall and the pavilion mall they are very lively very vibrant like you like to go there again and again so, so far the vibe of this mall is a bit dull, like, I think because of the reason there's not, all the shops are not open, like if you see this all stretch, from here, all the way. So I think total 50% of the shops are only open, so that could be the reason. So I would like to see when they are fully open, fully operating, so what would be the vibe? Yeah, it's a new mall, but there is not so much happening, let's say that way. They have a Dyson showroom.
this is like an artisan shop First of all, let's go and check out the food court area because I think food court could be a make or break for any mall and so far both all the other pavilions like Pavilion Bukit Bintang and the Pavilion Bukit Jalil they offer excellent food items like the food court is full of massive food chains Hello I think food court is usually the most happening area in the, any mall and here is a little bit of people I'm not sure why this mall is still very empty which is surprising because usually pavilion is known for the busyness and the premiumness is there you know it's the luxury is still there but maybe the people haven't found this one because pavilion Bukit Jalil is very far out of the city and it was the busiest mall I have ever been and this mall is not so far it's only five six station from the Bukit Bintang and it's very empty we have a food merchant here as well
this supermarket is like a decent size it's not very big like compared to the other one they have bigger ones it's just like a, a bit smaller size but they have pretty much everything you need and the prices are also not so bad and the quality looks good This area is really pretty. There's a dragon. Yeah, so this is the last floor. This is fifth floor. Like level five. Oh, they're having a oriental coffee coming soon oh that's a really good shop like a really good restaurant so the whole fifth floor is like the least open you know most of the shops restaurants they're still coming soon now this like franchise is becoming very famous in Kuala Lumpur they're opening up everywhere This is how we normally HM and France. Okay, they have this huge panda. This could be the upcoming food court because this area is closed and there is a, like a shutter. So all in all it does give a feel of an unfinished mall, like unfinished business, you know. I don't know what was the hurry, they should have completed it and opened it boom with every single shop. That could have impacted the business like next level stuff. So I wish them well. They have their own idea, their own business understanding. But from where I can see it, it lacks something, you know. They shouldn't have opened it until it's fully completed, all the shops are ready to go. But I think maybe they wanted to open it for the New Year or for the Chinese New Year as well. So here it is. But I think because of that, it still lack a lot of foot traffic. So if you see there, there is a big shutter gate. So behind could be like a food court area or something. So yes guys, I can't show you much because there is nothing much. It's just like a mall, halfway through open, still many things coming soon and things are not fully operating. So that give a little bit like a bad taste in your mouth, but I would say when it's fully operated, it will be like a really good place to visit. So these are all the brands and upcoming brands in this mall. So yes guys, this is Pavilion Damansara Heights Mall. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about it because for me, I'm not impressed. And I'll definitely be back when it's fully operated so I can see 
what they have in mind when they were designing this mall. So yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the love and support. If you like this video, please share it with your family and friends. And if you like to support this channel, please subscribe. It will really means a lot. And I'll see you guys very soon with another great video. Take care.